if we made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out, probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. If they're smart, they have a chance. I'm not convinced two Hyperion desk jockeys know the first thing about survival in the Badlands. All they have to do is find a shelter and build a fire. They're dead. With a caravan like this, we couldn't help them if we wanted to. I hope he'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean... Assuming it's not exactly a charity. Oh, please. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Every mechanic have to be gross. Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossa Nova. Scooter must have connections at Dalcorp. This looks pretty high-tech. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Man, I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh. oh, hey, man, welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? Uh, sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully, handing this place over to the new proprietor today, and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business. Wow, oh, this is a really nice looking place you have here, Scooter. Oh, thanks, man. It means a lot. Business has been a little slow so far, you know, being in a hidden cave town and everything, but it'll pick up. <laughs> Hope it picks up, though. Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Boston Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man. Did you see me? I was, I was waving. You were a badass. Oh, <laughs> yep. Got me. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I could fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold. 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cuz my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. Tell you what. 
Throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! You know what? Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Go on, do it. Catch a ride. Hmm. Okay, okay. A thousand bucks. It's yours, but you're gonna have to win, like, a crap load of races, all right? I'm made of money, man. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with, like, Catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass for you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions or whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes a... What the hell? Let's go for the whole nine yards. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Though maybe pressing him for that extra cash wasn't the greatest idea. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Thanks. Hi, man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't got to turn in two nice-seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? No. I say we hit the safe house. If Felix hasn't already been there first, it'll have everything we need. Money, gear, new IDs. Yeah, I think we can figure something out. Thanks, Scoot. Anytime. And I really mean that. I'm gonna go get started, okay? We shouldn't hang around here too long. Hmm. 
Looks like he had company while he was away. It could have been Felix. Could be. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. He always complained about the reception on this thing. Right. A phonograph is more to his taste. If it's all the same to you, I could do without Felix's classical music right now. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. Hmm, here we go. Always nice to see an old friend. Felix sure was into science fiction. Doesn't look like he changed anything. Probably means there's nothing in there. Great, a flashlight. Maybe if we go camping. It's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh, it looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. What's that? A grenade? Yeah, looks like another one of Felix's homemade projects. Well, let's take it. Yasis? What are the chances those Hyperion boys aren't dead already? Hyperions are resilient. They'll be fine. Too many memories in this place. Let's hope there's a bit more than that. Ugh, I'm a little afraid of what I'm gonna find. Better to get it over with. You said it yourself, Fee. That black light should help us. I hope that bumpkin can put our ride back together. The caravan has seen some better days. Maybe the upgrades will make it feel new. Hmm, maybe. We better keep at it. Yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything. Sasha, look at this. What the hell? It's ultraviolet paint. I guess he wanted to keep all this a secret. Well, he left this for us to find, so... There's something he wanted us to see. There we go. He left something for us to find. Just like him to make a children's game out of something like this. He never could see us as adults. 
Well, maybe that was the problem. What is it? The message seems so vague. We're not seeing the whole picture. Keep looking. We're bound to find something. We better keep at it. Yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything. Like he's taunting us. What are you pointing us at, Felix? Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Ah! I see it! Right there! Awesome! Is this the right spot? Yep, just gotta pry it open. Uh, if you find another flashlight under there, I'm leaving. Guess that's what we're searching for, huh? Guess so. Here we go. Better double check the contents. Hello, sexy. You're coming with me. What is it? It's an echo comm. Why is there... If you're seeing this, I suppose I'm either dead or worse. My plan worked. I'm sorry. Fiona, Sasha, there's so much I want to tell you, but the less you know, the better. Oh, give me a break. Halfway through the con, I realized we were messing with Valerie's people. I knew that, and I never revealed it to you two. Well... If you're watching this, it won't be long before she's coming after you. Change your names. Change your appearance. Change your life. Valerie? Take Do you know you that name? And go. Forget about the life you had. And forget about me. But know that I love you both. With all my heart. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You're not the one that left. The one that lied. I'm not gonna listen to another second of his bullshit. I can't believe you let him live. Why did you warn that son of a bitch? Should have let that case explode right in his face. I couldn't let that happen to him. It was always about the money. The second a big score showed up, he betrayed us. We had it. We had it in our hands, Fiona. Ten million dollars. Enough to get off this planet, enough to... to buy a new life. We're gonna find this vault, and we'll be richer than your wildest dreams. But there's more to life than money. Don't give me that. The only people that talk like that are rich. You want a sandwich? It might be a while before we eat again. Shh. 
sure. Huh, wonder what's in this. What is it? It's some sort of an upgrade. Still only holds a single shot, but it looks like it adds an elemental effect to the bullet. A parting gift. Good thing this comes with another shot. I spent the last one I had trying to kill your boyfriend. You better shut up. He left you something, too. I don't want it. Come on, don't be like that. Don't tell me how to feel. I'll just hold on to it for you. In case you change your mind. I won't. So stubborn. Really gonna turn down the man's going away gift to you. Cold blooded. <laughs> right? You should be ashamed of yourself. Hands up, both of you. What you making? Who are you? He's Finch, I'm Crow. me going on you see me looking at you make him shoot through that nice floor and for what for nothing you two got every bounty hunter in pandora looking for you and you're making a sandwich tire up let's get out of here oh she's fast please you embarrassing yourself go on fiona shoot him do it you're pointing that at a dude who has people shoot him in the chest for fun. I'm usually drunk and charge 40 bucks, but you can have this one for free. You all right, man? Oh, yeah. Re real good. <laughs> you don't have to be a tough guy about it. It's cool. Go. Hey, man. Hey! Go! Oh, I'm counting these bullets. And they come in. Oh. Now. 
My story. Shut up. Is she still back there? Can't see her. Are you sure? Maybe she's on the rooftop. She must. No! Look out! So <laughs> this ends now. Fiona, the grenades. The ones that Felix made. Use them. Now! What if they- There's no time! I'll distract her. The guy works fast. Get away from there! Shit! 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 Shitty! Come on, no, help stop. me! Bounty hunter out there tracking us. Bounty hunter? What? Are you sure? Yes. Where are the keys? Hurry! All right, all right. Don't have a heart attack. She's right there. Oh. Hey, hun. Wow. That is one slow door. Scooter, this is my girlfriend, Athena. Oh, I know, Athena. <laughs> What's up, girl? Y'all kids like that a lot? <laughs> you guys settle on anything? You know each other? Yeah. Like I said, she's my girlfriend. Which means we know each other. Intimately. They do it. Wow, this is some nice work on this caravan. <laughs> oh, you know, just did my best in the time given. Don't be modest. Look at this work. I must say, you two are pretty lucky to have such care going into you. Wait, are you saying Athene is the one that was chasing you? Hmm? What? No, this is just a misunderstanding. Athena made a promise to me that she was done with all that, so she couldn't be doing what you say that she's doing. That's right. Our relationship is more important to me than some stupid job. That's what I'm saying. You know, come to think of it, I think it was someone else. Yeah, it, it might have been. See? Just a misunderstanding. I did see the wanted posters, though. Some scary people will be after you with a reward like that. <laughs> well, I suppose we should get going. Stay safe out there. Pandora feels a lot smaller when you've got people looking for you. You know, her shield's just sitting over there. I mean, if she's not a bounty hunter... What does she need it for? It's probably best not to piss her off. No, you're no fun. Be sure to stop off at any of my catch a rides if you need anything. I got them popping up all over Pandora.
well. I'm guessing that's our Gordis building. Yeah, I'm thinking that the signs would point to yes. Whoa. This happened pretty recently. Within the last hour, I'd say. Think the guys did this? It'd be pretty impressive if they did. But look at these scorch marks. <sighs> Must have been grenades or some type of control explosion. Athena slaughtered Atlas. Seems like this could be her sort of entrance. So do you think she's down there right now? I have no idea. But let's be careful. And Lance. These guys are serious badasses. This is Athena's handiwork. Starting to think we might have just gotten lucky with her back there. Do what we tell you to do, or you die. Simple as that. Well, yeah, but it seems like you're gonna kill us anyway. Shut up, smartass. Oh, that's not good. What are we gonna do? We're all gonna be nice and cooperative, aren't we? Not cause any problems, right? Okay, we... Sneak over to that position there to get a better angle of attack, then... Well, who do we have here? Recent Vaughn's new little playmates, right? I think one of you owes me a key. Hey, August! Look who finally showed up for the party! Oh, crap. Vasquez? Vaughn? Reese? Didn't think you'd given me the slip now, did ya? You didn't think I'd have August handling all my dirty work, did you? How the hell do you keep showing up? We've escaped you, like, a gajillion times now. Reese. Reese. Reese, 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 Reese. Only the fool thinks that he escapes his shadow in dark. Dev. What? Loaderbot! Arm weapons or something! I'm helping. Uh, huh. Come on, guys. You didn't think I'd come all the way down here before grabbing a universal remote, did you? What? The Gordis Project, the two halves of the core, everything leading to a vault. We got it all. Checkmate, amigos. I am shame. <laughs> What'd you think, Reese? That you could pilfer something from my toy box, no strings attached? You never could follow through. That's your problem. Hugo, listen to me. Fiona, Sasha, even Vaughn, this isn't their fault. This all comes back to you and me. I stole the money. I stole your deal. Everything that's happened up till this point is about me trying to screw you. So let's just, you and me, work it out. <laughs> work it out? Work it out! I'll work you over, you little asshole! Oh, you guys are not believe the dream I just had. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what the hell is this? Didn't I just do this with this guy? Kiddo, I admire your consistency, but, uh... God. Oh, and who is this princess? Wait, they- Son of a- Shock other people. Oh, yes, I knew about that. Um, don't touch the cores, August. Thanks for the heads up. <sighs> Jackass. They're gonna have to do it for us. You'll cooperate, right? Because I figure if you don't, well, I- I can think of all sorts of things to do to your little friends. Yeah, sounds like we don't exactly have a choice, now do we? That's the spirit! Two hallways, two halves. 
I'll uh, take my soon-to-be-dead janitor here. You take Miss Fancy Hat down the other one. Boys, you keep an eye on these two. Especially this one. Don't believe a thing she says. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, you sit tight. Get your hands off me! Either of those two move, you shoot them where they stand. Ace, I'll admit it, you and uh, Vaughn have impressed me, and that sort of thing doesn't happen often. I'm surprised you've made it this far. Oh, yeah, Hugo Vasquez, Hugo Vasquez. There's, there's something I remember about this guy. What the hell really? is Really? It? It's unbelievable. You must have had some sort of help. Couple of death jockeys like you. I'd say it was 50 50 you'd survive the landing. I got help from Handsome Jack. Oh, so we're, we're telling everyone now. Is that what we're doing? Ah, yeah. I totally get what you're saying there. I, too, have found Handsome Jack to be an eternal well of inspiration. I mean, you might think of me as a self-made man, and for the most part, you'd be right. But there was this time when I looked up and admired one man in particular. The most impressive person. He's gonna ever say known. me. Handsome Jack. You idiots always say me. Still can't figure out who he is, though. We had this special rapport. He would do this thing where he would punch me in the face whenever he'd see me. It didn't matter if he was busy. He always made time for me. No, still nothing. I, I punched my mom, for Christ's sake. Just boom, right in the kisser. I was drinking from a mug when he got me one time. I hate to break it to you, Vasquez, but what... You're describing you don't get his... it. You, you don't get it. You don't. The point is, I was his punching bag. Oh, man. He thought we were exclusive. That's adorable. I miss our time together. Ah, this drives me crazy. It's right there. It's on a tip of my But phone. through me, his legacy carries on. How did you get paired up with an asshole like Vasquez? No, he's not so bad. He's just a little dumb. Valerie, the woman I work for, she's got a lot of contacts up on Hyperion, Vasquez being one of them. Problem is, we tried to cut her out of the deal. Hmm. Obviously, that was a bad idea for a lot of reasons. The fact that the vault key was bullshit being first and foremost. Well. Valerie found out about it, so now we've got to convince her that whatever comes out of this room is worth more than the $10 million deal we tried to slip under her nose. Then, hopefully, she doesn't kill us all. She ever talk about me? What? Sasha, did she ever talk about me? You guys are sisters. I figure you'd talk every now and again. She thinks you're dangerous. Yeah, well, I am, so that's fine. Maybe that's something she likes about me. It's not. You killed a guy right in front of us. Don't you remember? Oh, right. Yeah, that was rash. You think? But listen, that guy? He was a bad guy. He's ripping my family off for years. Just stacking lies on top of lies until he couldn't remember what the truth was. And he had plenty of outs. He chose not to use them. Look, I just want you to know, as far as you and I are concerned, there's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? And that, you see, is what I was trying to provide for you. Some guidance, some mentorship, a father figure. I was trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your mettle, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. You see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh... <laughs> I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute! Wallet head! That's where Jack found me. <laughs> he used to be bald, and he was going through these hair implants, and, and, and I it would stick money Maybe to his head. It was... 
Oh it was hilarious. Uh, but it was a long time ago. A- ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. <laughs> go on. Go on, seriously. But that's ask a him. pretty big difference. Listen, uh, wallet head. Well, Wallet? <laughs> yeah, so I appreciate the advice. I, I, I do. But I'd much rather you take your two cents and shove them into your wallet that you have on the back of your head that you are ashamed of because you are a wallet head. I. I was trying to be nice to you. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, that's good. Oh, when that's I take terrific. your corpse Thank back you up to Helio, so I'm going to make sure they save me some of your skin to make a wall out of. Whenever I see it, I'll remember the look on your face at this moment. Whoa. That's legitimately creepy. It was just about the money and nothing else. And relationships have to be built on trust. I don't know if I can take Sasha back without it. How do you even start a conversation like that? At this point, I assume she's just embarrassed. You two should just talk. Clear the air, see where it gets you. Yeah, we should do that. Well, here we are. Go on, stalling won't do you any good. Stalling? Whoa. Hey, what is this? No. No, 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 no! chat? <laughs> I can't imagine he's too happy with you guys. <laughs> At least that's the vibe I was getting. I guess Sasha left an impression on him. Yeah, I could see that. What do you mean? Yeah, what? Uh, no, nothing. No, nothing. Gortis unit ready for assembly. We got it! We got it! I guess that's our cue. Reconfigure. 
was that? That is a metal ball. How's this gonna get us into a vault? That's the only leverage we've got at this point. Meaning? Right. We've got one bargaining chip to work with. Okay! Just grab the thing and let's go. Subsystems, man. I can hack into these drones and I can almost guarantee no one dies. Unless you want them to. Probably. Uh, just let me in. I... Vaughn! It's under control, Reese. Trust me. What? No, no. Listen, we can take over the whole facility, kid. We got this. Whatever you're gonna do, kid, do it. No, 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 no. You're making a huge mistake. forever. This is how you're saving us? You're just throwing things? No, I, I think it's supposed to explode. <laughs> 